Welcome to Engagement Factory's five question challenge. I'm here today with Lin Kuei. Let's get right to it. Give us a short, short introduction of yourself and your company. Hello, Petra. Nice to meet you. Thank you for having me. My name is Ling and I'm the CMO at OneFlow. And OneFlow is a company that helps uh, businesses to close deals faster and hire faster with uh, e-contracts. And you're based in Stockholm? We are based in Stockholm. So, uh, are you a digital marketing newbie or a superstar? Um, normally, I would like to brag about myself, uh, but with, in this question, no, I think I'm neither a newbie or a superstar. And that is because I think digital marketing is a space where it's ever evolving. Uh, so in order to master digital marketing, you have to be a practitioner. And I believe in that. And when um, I do a lot of learning by doing, uh, so I think in order to be to stay ahead in the digital marketing space, yeah, um, we have to um, practice by doing. That's true. And if I were to ask some of your customers then, what do you think they would say about your digital communication? I hope they would say that our content teaches them something. And when we, when we come up with a new blog idea or, or a new content or a video or whatnot, uh, we try to make sure that every content actually gives something to our customers rather than trying to sell them something. So a, an example would be our top performing blog post, for instance, it's about um, what makes an e-signature legally binding. And that is something that I think our prospects would search a lot. And if you would Google that topic, you're going to see a lot of um, content on the internet, but our guide is the most comprehensive one. And that has resulted in a lot of shares and a lot of um, word of mouth, basically, on you know, getting people to come to our website in order to read the blog post because it teaches them something. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, very that's good. Our, very yeah. good, uh, very hands on example. Now, as a recipient or a consumer, do you have an example of a great customer experience? Um, I've just been through a process with a company called Drift, and uh, we don't we haven't bought them yet. I don't know if we will buy them. They're gonna like kill me if they hear this. Um, it's a company that uh, competes with Intercom, and Intercom is is a chat function. I'm sure everybody heard about it. Um, but when we went through the process of me being the buyer and you know them trying to sell um, the chat. Um, function and something that we already have. Um, what I find interesting is that is that you know at first I didn't really know about the the company, but I did read an ebook about you know uh, from Drift, uh, not about chat function, but really about just the conversational marketing that kind of um, methodology to do conversational marketing. So it teaches me something. And then when I went through into the process of um, uh, negotiating and trying to evaluate if this is something for us. Um, they actually helped me to, you know, um, they provide me a spreadsheet to do like evaluation sheet to compare, you know, Intercom versus Drift, what are the comments. And that really helped me a lot, like um, feature to feature comparison. And also like helped me to think about what are the, um, what are the factors that I should be thinking about when choosing such a solution? So really, they're not selling me anything. They just provide me things that can help me to move faster with my decision making process. Um, so I think that's um, that's something that I learned from. Yeah, good example. Now, in 2020, as you know, people have rapidly, uh, we are becoming more digital, socializing, consuming and working online. Uh, yeah. What opportunities, this, this sounds like an easy question for you guys, but uh, what opportunities <laughs> have, have you leveraged? Yes, absolutely. We can kind of see a huge jump in our traffic and also opportunities after the pandemic because OneFlow obviously provide you know a, a space for people to do business on with e-contracts. And um, 
I think in the beginning of the pandemic, we were kind of, um, you know, the marketing team was like super diligent and like pushing out webinars once a week and um, content every day. And we definitely see like, oh, this is great. Like we had the first mover advantage, right? And right now, like everybody's doing webinar, everybody's pushing out content. Um, so how, I've been thinking about this, like how do we stand out like in the future, in the new normal, how do you then stand out? Um, really it's it i think it boils down to the brand like if you're if you have the brand that is interesting that stops people from scrolling um that's where i think it was stand out not by you know the quantity of the number of content you push out or the number of webinars you do the number of virtual events you're you're participating in but rather i think it's more about um you know providing content that teaches people something that inspire people some um inspire people to make an action rather than trying to sell them something and also of course have like a, a style that is interesting that sticks out from the competition that's mm. where i would put my focus on mm. now finally who do you nominate for the five question challenge i would definitely love to hear from louise anderson from jobilan um would love to hear what she thinks <laughs> that sounds great we'll we'll talk to her thank you very much for an interesting awesome. talk thank you very much bye bye bye